Adele and welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about my dressmaking journey so if that's something you enjoy please subscribe and have a look back at my previous vlogs. Now today's vlog is a collaboration vlog with Angela from Devon Threadtails and me and Angela have been friends for about a year. Um, she came up to Leicestershire last year to go to Soap Brum and we also went to uh, so your own wardrobe Paris evening together and first time I met Angela it was like meeting an old friend we sat down for a tie and we were just chatting for hours and hours on end and uh, it's continued that way over lockdown we've been chatting over the phone we've had a few facetimes and things like that and we got thinking how about we do a collaboration vlog together making the same pattern now, me and Angela, as I look through all her makes, I'm always like, oh, love it, love it, love it. Because we've got similar tastes in uh, garments, in patterns, and also similar taste in material. So I think I could just take her wardrobe and have it as my own. I absolutely love it. So if you haven't seen Angela's um, vlogs before, head over to her channel. I'll put all the links below. And if you're here from Angela's channel, hello and welcome. So, me and Angela, we were both looking at the new Sew Over It uh, ebook, the Summer Wardrobe, Summer Dreaming Wardrobe. And I, I've had both of the ebooks before, I know Angela has before. And this one, I was a little bit unsure about whether I was going to buy it because a few of the patterns I've already got similar makes like that before. But there was one pattern that really stood out for me, and that was the Sienna dress. So, when we bought the bot uh books each I said to her why don't we both do the sienna dress and she said yes absolutely so here is my sienna dress I'll put a video up look woo, of me twirling in it um I'm, I have to say I'm really really happy with this dress it's been sat upstairs actually for a couple of weeks um because I lost my sojo and things um but once I'd made it I text Angela straight away and say I absolutely love it and I finally put the buttons on yesterday and again I sent her another message going love 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 and she said the same so I can't wait to watch her video and talk, uh, listen to her review of this pattern I've seen a I've sneaky seen picture of her dress and I love it it's very classic, very Angela. Oh, the print is amazing. Go and check it out. Right, so the Sew Over It patterns. Um, I used to make a lot of Sew Over It patterns when I first started dressmaking. It was my first independent dressmaking company that I ever used, and I had almost all of their patterns. Um, I, in the meantime, well, in time since then, I have found other companies, um, and I haven't really sewn any of the Sew Over It patterns probably since the last um, ebook, the Work to Wardrobe ebook. Um, and it was really nice actually to go back to my, not my roots, but go back to the start. And, and well, it's funny, isn't it? When you use different companies, you know how each of their instructions are, their sizing, um, how you construct each, each of their garments is very unique with each of the companies. So it was nice to go back to sew over it because I have um, an understanding of how their blocks work against my body and I know exactly what adjustments I need to make. So let me talk first of all about the size and the pattern adjustments that I did. So I am a size 10 in sew over it. Well, really, I'm a bit of a size 11 if they had one because I normally do a size 10 but with a one centimetre seam allowance because 10 can be a tiny little bit too tight and then 12 can be a little bit too big. So I normally go in between those two. Um, but this one is a 10, straight 10. The only adjustment that I did make though was the waistline because so over it pattern seemed to come up very very high and i knew that even without making a twirl or even putting a pattern block against me the pattern pieces i knew that i'd have to make the waist lower so i added three centimeters to um the seams here so what i did is i got the pattern piece cut it at the same point on every of the panels and added three centimetres when I cut out those panels. And it, it, it was the right thing to do because it does sit nicely on my waist. Any higher, it would have been almost like an empire line. Now, I, I didn't have to make any adjustments to the bust, even though I have found recent time that I have to lower my bust line. This has princess seams on, so I've not actually had to do any bust star adjustments or anything like that. And the princess seams fit really nicely 
Um, I'm, I'm really pleased actually with how the bodice part fits. I'm actually pleased with how it all fits. So that is the sizing. Now the fabric. So this fabric was from Sew Me Sunshine um, way back in springtime. And Harriet put it on her Instagram stories and I know her fabric sells out super quickly. So I went straight on, ordered three metres because I thought, oh, well, it's definitely going to be a dress out of this fabric. Um, I didn't have any pattern in mind. But when me and Angela both chose the Sienna, I knew which fabric I was going to make it out of. So it was lovely actually to make a dress from my stash. Um, it is slightly growing at the moment because I've done a little bit of a, well, I'd say window shopping. No, not even window shopping, just online shopping. And I'm like, oh, I like that, order that. But I know that I need to make up a few things now from my stash. So it was nice to get this. And it will be perfect actually for next um, summer, this fabric, because it's really light and breezy. But it doesn't feel sheer though. Because with some light and breezy viscose, I always feel like it's a little bit sheer and I might have to wear um, a little slip underneath. But this doesn't have that. It's very comfortable and it's a lovely quality. So I'm really pleased with the fabric and thumbs up for being able to use my stash as well. Now, the best part of this dress, I've just got to say, is on the back. Which is always strange, isn't it? Because you kind of think, well, I can pose on the front. <laughs> my best part. But my favourite part is actually the back shearing panel. How nice is that? So I'll do another close-up photo of the back that you can see. But it's got a really big panel on the back, which is uh, made of shearing. So it's lovely and comfortable. And that's what has won me over with this dress. The level of comfort I feel when wearing it because of that panel. Now, it reminds me a little bit of my Q dress with the gathered skirt attached. But I, I love that dress. But when I put it on, I feel a little bit constricted. So by having that shear in the panel of this, I feel like I can move around. Um, can we eat a little bit more pudding? Three course, everything. Um, and just... And, and it's going to help as well when it's really, really hot next year. And I know it's a bit late, actually, isn't it, for this dress. But next year, when I wear this dress in the height of summer, I'm going to feel really nice and cool in it and not too claustrophobic. So shearing, please, please, please do not be frightened of shearing. I was, I hold my hand up. It used to frighten me so much, but don't be. So let me quickly run through. I'm no expert. I'm just going to tell you how... I do it. So my shearing elastic, I put in the bottom bobbin and I wind it on using my hand just to get the right atten attention. You don't really want any pull whatsoever on it, but you don't want it loose that it will get caught up in the machine. So it's just finding that right tension. Don't put it on the bobbin um, winder at the top. Then it's going to be on the bottom. So it's funny because when you're making it, you can't actually see the bobbin uh, the elastic as you're going through you can just kind of feel the tension there now it did talk about making lines but on another pattern um a so different pattern they talked about making like a, a snake like uh design do you remember the old nokias with the snake <laughs> so you go down across down across down across down across and that's what i've actually done with this shearing panel the reason for that is my very first few stitches of each time never seemed to gather up very well. And I didn't want to have that sitting on, on one of the edges or to, to be worrying about where the tension wasn't right. So I felt like as soon as I started and the tension was right, I could just keep going. And I haven't adhered to the number of lines or the space in between. I just basically used the side of my sewing foot to gauge where to do the lines. So it's not accurate, it's not precise, but once you've done it and you steam it with a hot iron, it shrinks it up and it just is so lovely. And you can't tell if any of the lines are a little bit wibbly wobbly um, because it's all scrunched up. So go ahead, go, go for it. Don't be frightened of sharing, please just have a go. Honestly, that's my uh, it's my takeaway all the time. Don't be frightened, just go for it. And if it make, makes a mistake, doesn't matter, just take your time.
But yeah, the shearing panel is the most favourite part of this dress. And another new technique that I use, well, it's not really a massive technique, but a new feature that I've never done on other dresses is the bra slider strap thing with the little ring there. I, I'm not very technical, am I? I don't know the names. I'm sure it's called a bra slider. But I love that feature. It makes it look a little bit more professional. Um, although I should be proud if they're handmade. I just feel like it just adds that little extra touch. And also it helps just to make sure that that sits high enough. That I'm when I'm like this, it's not showing uh, too much gape. I can just tighten it up. And it just makes makes fitting a little bit less stressful because I can make those tiny adjustments after I've made the garment. I don't have to keep trying it on, make those adjustments, take it off, make those changes. I can just have it like that. And I, I really like that feature. So I might actually have a look at that with other straps. Now, it is very strappy. There are two options with the straps. You can have a thicker strap as well as the thinner strap. I just really like this really dainty strappy look um i know i can't wear a bra with it currently because these sit a little bit further away from where my bra straps are even though at the back it fits so if i did want to wear it with my bra i've got my strapless bra on here i would have to probably have the thicker straps and maybe test for that strap to come in a little bit more so that would take a little bit more time to work out where that would go but yeah I, I I love the feature of it and it, it, it kind of sung to me as soon as I saw it on the page in the ebook that I knew it would be a winner and it is, it's lovely. Now the one thing I haven't done is add the pockets on. I am a fan of pockets but I'm not really a fan of patch pockets to be honest with you. Um, I didn't want to disrupt the pattern because I'm not going to spend hours pattern matching. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, people out there that are big pattern matches, I'm really sorry, I just don't do it. So I didn't really want to have the patch pockets. I didn't know the point of having them there, so I've left them off. Even though I had them cut out and I've got the pattern pieces still upstairs, I just didn't bother with that. Just leave it. Um, and midi length. Look, at, I, I'm just going over. I just keep looking and think, oh, I like that, yeah. The length of this is lovely. I love a midi length at the moment. I don't know why, um, because a couple of years ago I would have thought it would be so unflattering on me, but I just love it. And wearing it with some sandals, I can wear it with my trainers, I can even wear it going out. It's just a really nice length and just comfortable. It keeps me, because as you probably can see, I've got a bit of a, um, a square tan line here. I burn very easily. We went up uh, walking up a mountain, got to put my sun cream on me, put it on all my daughters and my husband, but forgot to put it on me. And I got burnt here. So I've got a nice big square. Sorry if you can see that. But it's nice to have that little bit of extra length, just so that if I'm sat out in a garden, I don't have to worry about burning my legs either. So I love that length. And buttonholes. I'm a convert. I don't think you would ever heard me say any of this before but I have made peace with my buttonhole foot and function so last year on my Q dress I could have actually cried because my dress got caught in the machine on a buttonhole and I was getting so fed up and since then I've still haven't enjoyed doing buttonholes but I had, I had a revelation I've got a speed dial on my sewing machine so I put it down to half speed and my buttonholes just work perfectly now so I don't know why I ever thought well less haste I am a little bit um I like to have them things done quickly so maybe I just need to take my time and I I had 10 buttonholes here and it, they were a breeze I had no stress no crying no frustration they went through perfectly so I am at peace with my buttonholes. So you may see more buttonholes now on more garments instead of zips. I don't know. Am I a zip or buttonhole? I don't know. I, I still think a zip over a buttonhole, but buttonholes now don't scare me. So I put it out there. Just take your time. Just take your time. So yeah, there is my lovely dress, my Sienna dress. Um, I know it's coming the, towards the end of summer, so I probably won't get as much wear out of this than if I did it earlier on in the summer. 
Um, but life was just all a bit mad and crazy by then. But I am thinking I probably could wear it with a nice jacket, maybe even trainers and get away with it wearing it sort of on the school run even. I might do that today. Got my denim jacket, got my Converse. I might use that. Well, not use that, but wear it like that on the way. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I really wish that I could have got together with Angela and we could have done this vlog together and you could have seen both Siennas next to each other. But I'm really interested to hear how she got on with hers. Um, I know from uh, conversations that we've had before, she did have a little bit of problem, well, a few problems with getting the shearing tension properly done on the top that she made before she made the dress. So I think she's probably a little bit more confident this time. But yes, go and check her dress out. And thank you so much for watching today. And I he hope to see you soon. Bye.